what up what up what's good good people figured i'd come at you from the upstairs dungeon today and uh had a few things on my mind kind of was thinking about my man series for every season and which ones i tend to reach for depending on the season and uh so i mean without further ado let's take a look at uh what i chose i was looking at my stash this morning and kind of just trying to pinpoint pick them out and i came with a few goodies so we'll start with the spring since the spring is next what's up on us and when it gets to be springtime i normally reach for wild python normally in the spring i go for floral wild python is um, osmanthus peach very floral but one of my favorites for the springtime really good <clears throat> Next, Velvet Vanilla. Now, Velvet Vanilla, some might say it leans a little bit more to uh, fall, but it's very floral, but a vanilla floral, in which this is one of my favorite Mancera's all around. But that's next selection for spring. Next, Rose's Greedy. Yeah, that just... That scream spring. I mean, this is like just flowers blooming. I mean, this is just perfect for spring. Rose is greedy. I don't reach for it as much as I should, but in the springtime, I seem to pump hard on this one. I mean, this is this is really good juice for the springtime. And uh, so next, go in reverse. Let's go back to the fall. I mean, sorry for the uh, for the winter. In winter time, I go for black vanilla. A dark vanilla that just seems to heavy dark vanilla that just works during the winter time colder months I tend to always go for this really good and also this one might not be popular for the winter time but Jordan exclusive something about this just reminds me of a Christmas tree the opening is bright and then there's some kind of Christmas tree vibe that comes on along later on that kind of the same vibe that comes from uh, I think it was uh, Angel Women. It, it, it has a note in there that's very similar to that. It just puts me in a mood of Christmas and around that time. So also finally for the winter time, red tobacco, red tobacco, saffron, balm, cinnamon, kind of vanilla, you know, it, whoo, red tobacco. Man, this got some teeth on it. I mean, you take a shower, spray it on top of your foot, put your clothes on, put a sock on, shoes on, and you'll still get a compliment. That's gonna last until, you know, a couple of squirts of that last till 2022. I mean, that's, that's, whoo. Now, <laughs> reverse back to fall. In fall time, I tend to go for Choco Violet. Chocolate Violet, this kind of, of course, chocolate, floral. This one surprised me, this one was good. This really surprised me, I wasn't ready for this one, but I like this more and more every time I spray it. The chocolate burns off and then it becomes like this creamsicle kind of, not orange creamsicle, but like a, it's like a, I can't put my finger on it. It's like a, not a raspberry creamsicle, but this has a slight gourmand feel to it, but at the same time, semi floral this is underrated in my opinion. Choco Violet, my God. Speaking of underrated, for the fall, black gold. This is actually my Swiss Army knife. I wear this all year round. This is my go-to lavender, semi, seems as minty vibe, but really lavender, ooh. This actually is amongst my favorites of Mansira all around. I love black gold. Lastly, for the fall, gold prestigio. This is also one of my favorites. A oud, kind of rose. I mean, this has everything you can need. This is kind of like black gold has everything you could possibly want in this. All around, great fragrance. Underrated as well. Most of my fall is just underrated, honestly. Now, finally, summertime. One of my new additions, Soli d'Italie. Has this, uh, this vibe, this uh, opens like Bergamot 22, 
And then as it goes on, it turns into like this Millicene Imperial Creed, dries down with a light musk, perfect summertime fragrance. Other fragrance for the summer, lemon lime. This smells like a big ass lemon head. Really, really great lemon head smell, but dries down into a semi woodsy, luxurious performance. I mean, luxurious fragrance with really great performance too. And last, but definitely not, not least, for the summertime, Sicily. This also might be one of my favorite Manceras ever. That is a bright, mouth-watering citrus that is just beautiful, perfect, perfect. And that is kind of just a quick little synopsis of the fragrances and what season I wear them in when it comes to Mansira. But uh, let me know what you think. Let me know what you think about, you know, if you want to switch any of these around season-wise or what you prefer for certain seasons when it comes to Mansira. These are my just kind of quick thoughts this morning on a kind of just grabbing, seeing what I would like to wear sometimes uh, during what time of year, which here in, you know, Texas is always warm, so go figure. And I know you're figuring, why? What's up with wild candy? I don't know. That's what I felt today. <laughs> That's it. That's one to wear wild candy today. Another great fragrance of Mansira. Mansira is my favorite house, quite honestly. Um, I just love what they do. They they have fragrances for every spectrum and whatever you need, they got it. That's just all it is to it when it comes to Mansira. But that's just my brief thoughts today, but uh, let me know what you think. Comment down below if uh, there's another fragrance you feel like I forgot. I know I was thinking of Cidrat Boise, but I just couldn't fit that in there anywhere. I also have that, but I just didn't, didn't, didn't tickle my panty today. But uh, let me know what you think about any other fragrances, Mansira, what you prefer. And um, hey, until next time, hey, y'all be good.